okay? So, that is a six foot man right there. And this is the takeoff, that is the landing. All right, so we're just rolling up to it, walking the first feature here. And, oh, let's go ahead. And there we are. Oh, that's not that bad, dude. Uh-uh. Oh. Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? All right, we're out here at Fort Hill, the new jump line at Thunder Mountain. It's the biggest line they've created yet, and we're just standing on the first drop. It's looking pretty mellow, probably about 15, 20 feet out. So we're gonna go take a look at the next feature after it. So I'm a little bit more rattled. Um, hands a little shaky, don't know why. It's kind of the gnar shakes, I guess. Oh, look, here's another angle of the drop. There to there. There. All right, guys. So we're at the next feature here after the drop. Um, pretty, pretty solid lift here. Pretty smooth radius. Looks like it'll be really smooth. So, what makes a, a big jump really kind of hittable is a constant radius of the jump, not a kicky lip. So a steep, a steep lip is good. But what's bad is a jump that's not steep, and then at the end only the lip is steep. This is a complete constant radius, and what it is is predictable, and I think that's going to make it a lot easier for us. Um, so that's really good to see from two trail builders. Yeah! Little bottom there. You know what, dude? This is a faster one. A little bit further out than the one up top, but I think it might be a shorter drop height-wise. I'm six foot flat, pretty sizable. All right, now this is where stuff gets a little bit freaky from the outside, um, from a racer's perspective or a soft kid's perspective. Back up a little bit. So just for a human comparison, Jackson is six feet tall. This ramp on the left is the takeoff. That is a six foot man right there. And this is the takeoff, that is the landing. Yeah, pretty sick jump for sure. Step ups are always fun, so looking forward to that one. Tell me that's flat, I will land that in a manual. All right, so we got a little step up off the wood here. Super short, even if you want to be out on it a little bit. We can't put that on YouTube. Hey, don't say that word on YouTube. Big wall right after this, into a actually girthier drop. Yeah. Nice like wooden cannon. Really off. not steep though, so we can just glide off of it. I'd be happy to case it. It's okay. All right, so we're gonna get a walk up and uh, maybe do this puppy. Get her sent. Maybe. Wind check. Let's see it. Anything. Straight back. We're going deep. All right, so we're hiking up here. It's getting real. We're not stressing too hard. Everything looks like it runs perfect. That's what we've been hearing. So we're pretty stoked to drop in and see how it runs. We got two guys here that are gonna tow us in. We're just gonna drop in behind him. See how it goes. So, let's do it. Watch your, don't you like, I mean, you don't feel that like. I just cleared that. Faster into that. Oh! 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 I about.
bounced over the double. Yeah. Oh. That one, right? It wasn't as bad as you Yeah, saw. man. With the double, right? I didn't expect it to be as bad, honestly. I was just... I was scared shitless. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I might case it. I cased it. I kind I almost did. I... All right, guys. So first run down went pretty well. Nothing tragic happened, which is always a good thing. Uh, pretty much cleaned the whole line. A uh, little hang up on the step up, as you could probably see. But other than that, not bad at all. We're probably going to go hit it again and uh, see how much we can clean it. My name's Colin. Colin? Yeah, I'm from Connecticut. Sweet. First time riding this trail. Sweet. All right. Nice, man. Thank you. <laughs> That's unreal. What's up? What's over there, bro? Uh-oh. And we got some absolute scaffolding going here. What are those? See those going up? That's a whale tail. That's a, the huge ass whale tail. That's a blue one. <laughs> right there. Back, dude. Damn, we got some shapes down there. So we just checked out that new trail there. Um, as we dip back under the tape here, that's it for Fort Hill. Um, the synopsis for anyone who wants to hit this. If you have ridden jump trails, if you've ridden Highland, if you've ridden big flow, big flowy trails, or taken any you know expert only lines, then you can 100% do this. And if you're just progressing to Hollywood, you're just progressing to Black Magic, you're just progressing to Tombstone, then you can hit this as well. But you need someone to tow you in. If you have someone to tow you in, this trail is completely doable. It's just know your speeds and the landings are very friendly. It was built extremely well and as a result, a lot of people can do it. But that's that's not like no liability there. So yeah, guys, be shred safe it, kids. Shred your own risk. Only ride what you're comfortable with and wear elbow pads, boys. You're to hear first, guys. Subscribe and like.